Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about Fedora and its vanilla GNOME layout here. Before I get started, I wanted to test Fedora on my PC or laptop. You know how I usually test Linux distros, but I actually had issues with the live session of Fedora. I couldn't get OBS working on there. I needed codecs. I tried installing them. And I just couldn't get it to work, so I couldn't record. And so I actually found GNOME Boxes. I wasn't sure what GNOME Boxes was. Um, and turns out it's a virtual machine, essentially. I thought it was more for like servers or something. So this is what I'm running Fedora on right now. I'm running it on my Manjaro GNOME distro. And so you'll notice some sluggishness with the windows here in Fedora. That's all due to it being on a virtual machine. So with that out of the way, I'm only going to briefly go over Fedora itself because I do want to focus more on vanilla GNOME here. So Fedora is a distro that it tends to be a bit more bleeding edge compared to like Ubuntu, Linux Mint in general compared to the Debian family of uh, Linux distros. And so in terms of the st software that you have, you get the latest GNOME 3.32 so for example in the settings here you'll see what i'm working with here so version 3.32.2 and this is supported um i believe for at least a year until the next fedora 31 workstation comes out so because you get newer packages newer versions of the desktop environment you potentially get better performance not always but in general when you get newer stuff with fedora it tends to be better you know performance wise the other benefit of having Fedora is that I hear that the battery life for laptops is very good and I couldn't really test it comprehensively but I tried kind of messing around a little bit on the Fedora live session on my laptop and I think it's comparable to Pop OS's battery saver mode um, but again I didn't really run anything concrete so but that's just sort of what I hear a lot about Fedora because Fedora is pretty popular. It has a lot of support. So even using obscure software, for example, Faden, this is a, um, a screenwriting application for Linux. Of course, they have the Debian for Debian and Ubuntu based distros, but they always have that RPM for Fedora. This is helpful because even though snaps, flat packs, and app images are, are the craze these days, there's just some random apps that don't have that support yet. Another example is Whalebird, which is a Mastodon and Pleroma client. Um, there's the dev version, the RPM Fedora version here. Thankfully, it's in the Snap Store as well. Yeah, that's the other good thing about Fedora is that it just has that support. And obviously, the one interesting thing about Fedora is that it is running vanilla GNOME. This is what you're working with. And in terms of how I feel about vanilla GNOME, I always take it from the perspective of how a new user to Linux would react to it because I feel like if you're an intermediate Linux user and up it doesn't truly really matter what OS you use because you can change the layout you can change a lot you can install the latest kernel latest drivers to give you the TTL I would recommend Fedora on a laptop if you're an intermediate and up Linux users because vanilla GNOME for a newbie is not very friendly the majority of people they're going to be trying Linux are probably going to be Windows users, right? Because Windows is the most prevalent OS. And so when you get here, there's no panel by default. Obviously, um, Fedora does have like a little series of videos when you first install it that pop out, which is helpful, but it's still kind of a very different environment here. So to start, if you want to open up an app, you can do it two ways. You can go to activities, pop open this little menu here, and then you can click on show applications to access all your apps here. And once you get the hang of this, it is pretty quick to uh, search an app, but I feel like it is an extra step because you have to reach for the activities button here. Or if you wanna do it through your keyboard, you hit the, the windows or home key, start typing for an app. And again, once you get the hang of it, it is pretty quick, but it is very different to a Windows user. So on one hand, there is no panel popped out by default without you having to press something to load it up here. So one of my main issues is that I feel that this panel should be visible by default here. I mean, I like it right here in the bottom, 
but even if um if it's here visible here i think it's much better for you know someone new to linux coming from windows and mac os's now the other big thing is the lack of a minimize and maximize button especially a, a minimize button because even in the fedora um, videos about vanilla gnome there really wasn't a way to minimize and that's the one thing i'm struggling with here because i wanted to show you just the interface of you know of like the desktop but i had to drag the browser to the bottom here to kind of give you a sense of the os here because there really is no minimize now the good thing is you can change those things um especially the minimize maximize buttons but you do have to install an app so if you go to the store it's an app called gnome tweaks i already have it installed so i'm actually gonna load it And so to install the minimize maximize buttons you go to window title bars maximize minimize but yeah this is something that should be enabled by default i mean i kind of know the reasons is because it wants you to use a specific workflow that will ultimately at least according to gnome be better and quicker but again in the interest of new users coming to linux it's definitely gonna leave a bad impression so hey now that there's a minimize i can freely show you the desktop here and then to get the the dash to appear here that one is a bit more of an involved step the easiest way is to load up firefox and install the gnome theme uh, or the gnome add-on and then you can install dash to dock switch it on and then when you go back to gnome tweaks you go to extensions you can enable dash dock and it appears here and when it appears it is enabled with intelligent hide so like if you maximize a window it'll get out of your way even the simple changes enabling panel and having the minimize and maximize will go a very long way for vanilla gnome i think especially to new users and you can keep everything else because i think everything else with the workflow is okay on the launch applications just click here or i can do it the, the way gnome wants it by clicking here or clicking the windows key in terms of the the theme itself since version 3.32 of gnome it's gotten a lot better it does look a bit more modern but i think it could um there could be room for improvement on it with the dash to the dock the other good thing is i can put it in the bottom end i prefer it this way because it gives it that mac os feel so i dig it other than that that is pretty much it mostly when i review linux distros i always focus more on the theme because like i said my channel is geared towards showing how easy and simple linux is to new users coming from windows and mac because like i said an advanced linux user can manipulate linux however they see fit and what os is installed by default doesn't really matter is an os i'd recommend for intermediate and advanced linux users i think fedora is a solid os for gaming just because it has a lot of newer stuff other than that if you like this video and you found it helpful please like share subscribe leave your thoughts in the comments below and i will see you guys next time